Coming in. Good morning YouTube, it's been a hot minute since we've done a dog vlog, so I thought it's a lovely day, the sky is blue, it's actually still summer if you can believe that, so I thought yeah, let's get the camera out for this morning's walk and do a dog vlog. Karasi, start of the show right there, wait wait, two good ears. Very good today, is the answer to that. Yeah, so I don't think this is gonna be one of our biggest walks, but we'll see, we'll see. Hopefully the tide is in, we're gonna walk. Most of the thing is now, I think I filmed most of the walks that we do, so I don't think you're gonna see anything new you know but i think i said it before these dog vlogs are for me just as much as they are for you i really enjoy looking back on them and i like to think do you know like if i keep the series going i'll have a good few years or years of dog vlogs with my boy rossi so be something nice to look back on over the years see how he grows and Matures. Like he's still only two, you know. Not quite three yet. So yeah, I hope you enjoy these dog vlogs guys. I enjoy making them. Well, as you can see, the tide is out. And it's actually still going out even further. But it just shows I think we've done one vlog where the tide was pretty much all the way in. It comes right up to the grass just here so it shows the difference there's now it's very popular with the birds the seagulls and the, where there are the birds they are anyone know what they are those there i'm gonna clue yeah some big uh, big birds we might see the swans as well later on today when we went for our run yesterday they were actually on the cycle path and a man on a push bike stopped and he said, oh, be careful when you go under the bridge, the swans are out to the signets. <clears throat> so obviously I put Rossi on his lead. And good job, because it's kind of a blind spot. You go round this corner and you're straight at this bridge. Of course, they were there and they were hissing. And uh, yeah, good job I had Rossi on the lead. Best to avoid all that stuff, you know. Yeah, good boy waiting. It's still quite muddy. Uh, this is probably more from the rain, not from the tide, you know. But we've had... Oh, I love the summer, I do. I don't mind the rain, but we've had a terrible summer. It's the worst, worst I can remember with the amount of rain we had. You know, like some kids, they don't all go abroad for holidays, do they? So their summer holiday, it's been raining so they've only got a couple of weeks and they go back to school but hopefully now we'll have a bit more nice weather and there's a closer look at the local wildlife they got their own little island there look probably food or something washed up on the my little island so we're having a feast Oh, and we got someone waiting for us. Now this grass here, I know it's only grass, right? But it's so soft, I don't know what it is around here. It's like walking on pillows. It's really bouncy. 
I'd tell you what, if it wasn't like, if it was flat, it'd be perfect for uh, for running on. But yeah, it's hard to explain. It's just like walking on cotton or something. It's all spongy and lovely. Yeah, I'll tell you. <laughs> How's that for a view? Looks like a beautiful uh, field. But it's actually full of like, flooded bits or yeah you wouldn't want to go running jogging on that field to be a death trap in it boy yeah that's right now normally we go back home that way we are going to go that way but i want to show you if you carry on down here i was exploring the other day just curious how far this track goes, you know. The answer is not much further, but there is something lovely, definitely worth checking out at the end. So, is Rossi getting excited? Look, he's like, come on, let's go. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, so, I don't know, a minute further up that path, and this is where it ends. Rossi doesn't understand we're not allowed in there. It says private fishing, skewing, AC, and members only, and private land. They really don't want you to go in there. No, we're not going in, boy. So you can see it's padlocked as well. So check this out. So you've got that way. We have been over there, but I love, look how relaxing this is. I guess you can camp here, I suppose, with your fishing rods pay for this little spot, you know. See a swan on the lake there. Oh, what a beautiful day for it, isn't it? Yeah, very nice. Very nice indeed. Rossi's like, let's go. <laughs> oh, look, Rossi remembers the way. Show me, bye. Which way? You show me? That's right. Kind of thing. I still don't know if I ever did get lost. I have been lost before, when my memory went, but Ross, you'll know the way back. Ah, oh, it is a lovely day, guys. It's a nice, perfect, I'd say, breeze. You can't really see, oh, you can see the leaves literally rattling a little bit, or blowing in the wind a little bit. Oh, it's lovely. I don't like the, the wind normally, but a light breeze, just like now, perfect for me. Might be a little bit on the warm side to go for a big run. But other than that, for a walk like we're doing, oh, this is it, guys. This is the life. And we are back on the canal path. Lovely little loop, that is. Can you hear a helicopter? Where is he? Kind of getting dizzy looking at. You can see him up there. Sun's right in my eyes. Oh! Sight in. Now we might see the swans. They normally like to hang out around the corner. But it was around about this time yesterday that we were running, so, and they were quite a bit further down. I think they were getting out of the heat. So they were under the bridge, so they were enjoying the shade, you know. Oh, there they are, look. Those signets are growing every day, I tell you. Closer look, and perfect for the other side of the canal. So don't have to worry about Rossi. They might. The, one of them is really aggressive, one of the swans. It makes a good hiss, you know. Stuck in, what are you looking at? He's <laughs> not being as tall as he. Badass. Yeah, we always like seeing the swans. You have a good day. You see the swans. And if anyone's watching this, you love a good day too. So you've seen the swans. There we go guys, 
we're coming to the end now and I thought I'd flip the camera around for some reason hello <laughs> yeah this is my favorite part of the I call it cycle track it's a canal path I suppose uh, this is like the home straight the last say 500 meters of my run normally yeah, so I'm either can't wait to see the finish line or I'm rushing to go for a time <laughs> yeah I got Rossi still there look my boy there he is <laughs> Yeah, so we haven't got long to go now. So I'll flip the camera around and uh, say goodbye. There we go, we're actually come to the end now. We've got about, I think it's, it's a kilometre to go back to the house. And what are we now? 3.47, so it'll be four and a half K, give or take. Yeah, nice small walk that is. It's not very busy. It's quite busy sometimes on the path, but the along the river, very rarely see anyone else doing that walk. You know, you've got to be careful with your footing and stuff on there, so I think it's not suitable if you want a nice relaxing walk, you know. So just coming into the industrial estate now. Yeah, I'll uh, call Rossi over. I'll tell you what, we'll wait to see if he's good crossing the road again. I think he's very good at that now. That's a good place to practice. Because it's nice and quiet. With traffic. But he rarely goes on his lead now. Like yesterday, with the run, obviously it was good to bring it. I, I've got it like dangled around my neck. It's uh, with those swans. Of course, got to put them on the lead for that. But other than things like that, I very rarely put them on. It's good as gold now. I can wait in. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. you got to put your finger like that. And then... <laughs> you get it. Good boy. Right, come say goodbye. Come here, say goodbye. Bye. Yeah, thanks for watching. Love you. Bye.